So what are physical visualizations? They're the opposite of digital ones, which are the typical visualizations you see on the screen like bar charts, pie charts, crazy charts, and even interactive visualizations. Now, physical visualizations use physical objects instead of pixels to visualize data. We'll show you a few examples of the ones that did not make it in our top 5, and a quick note, links to all the visualizations you'll see here are on dha.io slash topphys. As we begin, a shout out to DataFizz that lists many of the visualizations here. As you look through these examples, I wanted to say hi and welcome to the next video of our series on the best visualizations we've seen. My name's Eugene, and I'm from Dark Horse Analytics, an award-winning visualization agency. We've curated these visualizations from the thousands we've come across and hope they'll inspire you and your friends to make some great ones. Now here's five of the most inspiring physical visualizations we've seen. One of my favorite physical visualizations is something that everyone, even kids, can do. You can buy a pack of candy, lay them out to show a beautiful distribution of candies by color, which is what I did here for a box of Smarties. And here's another from a pack of Skittles. And you can also make pie charts, tree maps, or my favorite, dinosaur charts. Also hands-on and simple, Amy Cecil's Dado Visits are visualizations made with Play-Doh, and they include some really inspiring examples of what anyone can do. She's created a holiday meat cook times chart with handmade meat representations on the left, and here's a rain and temperature chart that uses the sky as a backdrop through a window. Here's a rotating chart showing the number of children delivered during the different hours of a day using a jar, and there's more on their site. Next is Susie Lou's explorations of how visualizations can impact everyday experiences, and in this case, a grocery store receipt. Items are categorized and the totals for each category are shown by area and circles to let you know how much of the entire receipt you spent on meat and seafood or produce. Each item across all categories is compared by the most expensive item you've bought using a bar chart. It's a really fun and useful way to consider what we spend our money on and it helps you wonder what else is possible, including visualizing calorie counts on a receipt. Now, Many people have probably seen Climate or Warming Stripes by Ed Hawkins where each line represents the average temperature of a year. Colder temperatures are blue and warmer ones are red and they tend to show that the world is getting warmer. As they've become more popular, a number of people have turned these patterns into physical objects like scarves, even extending the idea to other datasets like sleeping patterns and sleeping blankets. My favorite one is this dress from Dr. Heather Price using data from global temperature data. It not only tells a story, but is a beautiful dress by itself. Fifth is this physical visualization that came from an exhibit called The Happy Show by Stefan Sagmeister. What you see here are gumball machines, and what I love is that the exhibit not only surveys people about their happiness, but it can add to it. By taking the survey, you not only get a gumball, which even though I don't like them very much, I think the act of turning the machine for a gumball would just make me happy. Life can always do with more visualizations that make us feel good. Let's end with two quick bonus examples. First is this waterfall clock at Osaka Station in Japan. It tells time using water droplets and displays beautiful patterns and images. There's not much actual visualization here, but it can be easily extended to portray those. And when I turn on the sound, You get an extra dimension to appreciate the use of water as the medium for the visualization. Finally, our last example is one of the top 5 from our last video on the most inspiring map visualizations. It's a 3D carrot map showing production of carrots in France by Romain Lacroix. It's just so simple and beautiful. We hope you found these visualizations inspiring. Join us for our next video on static visualizations that are not boring and watch our previous video on maps if you haven't already. For more upcoming videos, follow us on Twitter, YouTube, or sign up on our mailing list at dha.io slash topviz 
which also includes links to each of the visualizations you've seen here. If you have questions, ideas, or suggestions, please feel free to drop us an email at hello at dat.io. We'll see you later.